Open up your QGIS for desktop. Go to your web browser and go to the Lake Vic Fish Dataverse. Search for wind and click find. And then click on wind direction, LV watershed raster. When it opens, scroll down and you can see the information about the data that you're going to download. In search this data set, search for 2012. and select wind direction 2012 underscore 12 and click download. Click accept. And once it downloads, move it from your download folder into a folder where you'll be able to find it for the rest of the tutorial. Make yourself a plain text file that has the above information. Go to QGIS and in your processing toolbox search for reclass and then click on r.reclass and go to the help tab. Scroll down and it has a good explanation of what this tool does. It will essentially take the raster data and aggregate it. And we'll aggregate it using that text file that you created. Click on Add Raster Data and add the wind direction file that you downloaded from the Dataverse. Go up to Web and go to Quick Map Services. Go to OSM and add OSM standard. Zoom out so you can see where the wind direction layer actually is in the world. And there's Lake Victoria, and there's your wind direction raster. Go to the processing toolbox and open the reclass tool. Your input layer is the wind direction layer, and the file containing the reclass rules is the text file that you created. Click Run. Click Add Vector Layer and navigate to your Lake Victoria shoreline shape file and click Open. Now go up to Raster and go to Extraction and go to Clipper. Click on Mask Layer and make sure the mask layer is the Lake Victoria shoreline and your input layer is the output raster layer from the last tool we ran. Name your output file LV wind direction 2012 12 and click save and then click OK. Now that it's finished, click Close and right click on your output raster layer and click Remove. Go to the LV wind direction that you just created, right click and go to Style, go to Render Type and make it single band pseudo color. Under Generate New Color Map, go to Mode and go to Equal Interval and make the classes 4 and click Classify. Click OK. Those colors correspond to the reclassified wind direction that we created. Go to the processing toolbox and search for raster and go down to clip raster by mask layer. Your input layer will be the output raster layer which is the reclassified raster and your mask layer is the Lake Victoria shoreline. Click Keep Resolution of Output Layer and click Run. Just click Yes if you get the unmatching CRS's warning.
turn on the output raster layer and move your Lake Victoria shoreline above it so you can see it underneath the lake outline. Right click on the Lake Victoria shoreline and go to style and then color and change the opacity to zero and then click OK. And now you can see the reclassified raster layer underneath the lake outline. Go to your processing toolbox and search for project and then go down to reproject layer. The input layer is the Lake Victoria shoreline. Right click on the output raster and look at the coordinate reference system. We're just trying to make the coordinate systems match for these two layers. Under reprojected layer, click the ellipsis and go to save to file and give your reprojected shoreline a new name like Lake Victoria shoreline WGS84. Then click Run. When it's done, right-click on Lake Victoria Shoreline and remove it. And then right-click on the reprojected layer and go to Properties. And then Metadata. And in the Properties box at the bottom, scroll all the way down. And you can see that the layer spatial reference system has been changed to WGS84. Click OK. Right-click on the output raster layer, go to Properties, and under General, you can see that this layer has the same coordinate system. Go up to Raster, go down to Extraction, and open the Clipper tool. Your input file is the output raster layer. Click on Mask Layer, and the reprojected layer is your mask layer. Go up to Output File, click Select. and save this file as LV Wind Direction 2012-12. And just go over your inputs again. Output raster layer as the input file and the reprojected layer as the mask layer. Click OK. This didn't work because I'm trying to overwrite a file and it doesn't like that. Uh, so I'll just change the name of the file down here by clicking on the editing tool and then adding an A to the end of the name. Then click OK and it should work. So if you change the colors again, there's your correctly projected reclassified wind direction.